How's it going? Today I'm going to look at five albums from the 2010s. And we're going to start off with Slaufeg, The Animal Spirits. This album is under the name Slaufeg, but the band has gone back and forth a couple times between this and the lower weird Slaufeg. But this band formed in 1990, and they operate all the San Francisco area. And this uh, came out in 2010, but it's their eighth of 10 releases. And this came out on Profound Lore. Their big album was an album called Traveler. I've heard that, but I don't own it. This is actually the only thing I have a physical copy of by the band. But traditional heavy metal, but a unique take on it is the name of the game. Mike Scalzi is the band leader the vocalist he was in hammers misfortune for a time and similar to hammers of misfortune the vocals are an acquired taste and sometimes i like them sometimes i don't but they're still a great band i give this album a four out of five this is unsilent death by Nails. This came out on Southern Lord in 2010. So Nails, I, I see them constantly referred to as a punk band. Uh, you know, they formed in California 2007. I guess punk of the heaviest sort, but metal, grind, and hardcore. Short, intense songs. Hateful Lyrics, probably one of the angriest sounding bands out there. And again, this was the debut. And they've only put out three full lengths. And the last one came out in 2016. And they haven't put an album out since then. And I thought these guys might have been over. But I looked it up and they did put a couple songs out a couple years ago. So that they're still around. And when I say full length, like this album is probably not even 20 minutes how many songs? 10 songs. A lot of them are 30 seconds. A, cu a couple might be a couple minutes. But pretty much all their albums are, are very short. But it's really all you need. I, I couldn't listen to 80 minutes of this stuff. I saw Nails live twice. Once was at uh, the Hard Luck in Toronto, which is a small place, which seems to... As far as I could tell, it seems to be exclusively metal shows. I don't go there as much as I used to. But that place was packed out. I think Full of Hell was the opening band. And then I saw them again like a year later playing a much bigger place, Lee's Palace. And that was with Gate Creeper and Toxic Holocaust. Uh, the sound on that show for all the bands was pretty bad. The, the drums was just killing the crowd. I mean, usually I go to shows, I'm like, it's not loud enough. But that one just had the whole room just cringing at each other. It, it was painful. Again, it wasn't because it was too loud. It was just uh, some of the miking was... I, I don't understand that stuff. But but the feedback was, was really bad. But again, uh, intense show. Intense band. And I look forward to a full length coming soon. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, staying on Southern Lore Records, actually. This is Axis of Despair. And the album's called Contempt for Man. It came out in 2018. So this is some Swedish grindcore. And the members of the band. Well, the, the big names I see for uh, members past and present bands are Nazem and Cold Worker. Those are the two I recognize. And I was looking at a review not too long ago. And it said, you know, Brutal Truth, Rotten Sound. Nazem, Napalm Death, and I think that's that's totally accurate, and I give it a three and a half out of five. Altar of Oblivion. This is a epic heavy metal, epic doom metal. They're from Denmark, and they formed in 2006, and it looks like they put out three full-length albums, but several EPs, and this is one of them. Bearing Grounds on Shadow Kingdom 
in 2016. The first out, uh, sorry, the first song, State of Decay, that's probably my favorite one on here. And I would definitely recommend this for fans of Paul Bear, Chemist. To be honest, not quite as good as those bands to me, but still quality stuff. And I I got that from Hell's Headbangers pretty cheap. I think they have a couple of other releases of theirs pretty cheap. Finally, Bad Brains. This is Into the Future. So, not really a metal band. Bad Brains are more of a punk meets heavy rock band that formed in the late 70s. But uh, I think there's uh, definitely a little bit of metal thrown in there, a little bit of reggae. Their old stuff is more classic hardcore punk. Eye Against Eye being probably their classic album. And I love that old stuff. But this album here, if I didn't mention it, uh, this is 2012 and the most recent thing they've done. So it's been a long time. I always remember when I bought this because it was like, I think it was just before I got married. But there's definitely a lot of like reggae style, dub style songs on here. And those were the ones I found myself enjoying the most on here. So, um, respect the band. A lot of good releases to discover. Check them out if you haven't. So that's it for me from today. Thanks for watching.